Hello there, in this video I will show you how did I build this MIDI controller and I will show you all the details down in the description below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider to like and subscribe. My channel consists of anything that is related to music and I also put a segment here about um, the Bible and about how God works in our life. So, before anything else, we go to the verse of the day. So the verse for today is Ephesians 4 verse 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. So the Bible tells us that we must be kind to all the people around us regardless of who they are or regardless of what they believe in. And also, we must learn how to forgive them if ever they made a mistake towards us. Because these three things that is mentioned here, being kind, being compassionate, and being forgiving is just three ingredients towards a very very good relationship so I encourage you to do the same so let's go to the video so what do you need in this build some jumper wires and this arcade button yes it has a positive and negative side on the left side is the negative on the right side is the positive and the next thing you need is an Arduino Leonardo for this build, this one. It's the main brain of your MIDI controller. Right now I'm measuring the dimensions of the case for the MIDI controller and I just did all of this by hand. I don't have a power tool and that's one of the reasons why it's not perfectly cut into shape. If you can see here there's an outline on where I'm gonna drill the measurement for this one is just 29 millimeters across so I what I did is I drilled around the circle and then after that I traced the holes that I drilled with a small knife so I can precisely cut it down So after tracing out, I cleaned out the holes that I made so that the arcade buttons can perfectly fit on it. Yeah, it took a lot of time to do this. After everything is cleaned out, I added this carbon fiber veneer that I found laying around. So it also worked well. After I added the veneer, I inserted all the arcade buttons and then I begin to solder them up. It may look like a lot here but what I did is just I connected all the negative side of the arcade buttons using the jumper wires and connect it to the ground side of the Arduino board. And what I did with the positive side is that I solder a singular or an individual jumper wires on each of the positive side so I can connect it to the pins in the Arduino board.
I am right now connecting all the positive side with an individual jumper wires that I can connect to the pins of the Arduino board. After I did all the wires, I begin to put all the components together inside this frame that I made earlier and made some holes and drill some holes in it so I can screw it and it's easy for me to remove if ever I want to do an upgrade in it. I am now just fitting the Arduino board and I was thinking maybe I could put it on the side but at the end I put it at the bottom of the case. But if you can see here I also made this extension so that the Arduino board will not be easily damaged. It's time to connect all the jumper wires to the pins of the Arduino board and then we can program the Arduino board so it can function as a MIDI controller. So there you have it, the MIDI controller really works and I'm so happy with the result. So I would like to say thank you to all those people who helped me out in this build, Raisa Beats and Leandro Linares for all their help. I'll put all the links in their YouTube videos and also their Instagram accounts if they have one down in the description below as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.